Police tell us a man and woman again from Tennessee stole a car and led officers on a chase early Sunday, ending in a shootout inside a mission quick trip. One suspect, 40 year old Shannon Marshall, was shot and killed by police. The second suspect, 32 year old Andrea Cothran, went in front of a Johnson County, Kansas judge today facing a long list of charges. KABC 9's Dennis Evans continues our live team coverage from the Johnson County Courthouse in Olathe. Dennis. Now, Chris, it was a very, very quick appearance, 90 seconds total that she was in front of the judge. She never actually appeared in front of the judge. She was on a video monitor from the Johnson County Jail. That is where she has been since she was arrested on Sunday. With a straight face and little to no emotion, Andrea Renee Cothran adjusted her jail uniform and fidgeted in her seat as she listened to the charges that she's facing here in Johnson County. You were charged with four counts. Speaking only when asked by the judge, Cothran said she did not have the funds for a private attorney. Have any financial resources to hire an attorney or do you need the court to appoint you one? Catherine waived her right to hear the full details of the charges. For now, she is facing just four charges, but according to the district attorney, this 32 year old from Tennessee could have additional charges added at the end of this investigation. There's the felony murder rule that uh, allows for that type of analysis. And again, this is 48 hours into the investigation that along with many other factual and legal considerations our office will review to determine whether or not there are sufficient facts and evidence to support any additional charge. Well, Cothran's bail was set at $1 million, so it looks like the Tennessee native is going to be staying in the, in the Johnson County Jail for quite a while. The prosecutor didn't really want to go too much into the case or talk too much about Cothran's history. What he did say is he recognized there is a sentiment out there that right now she's really being charged for the chase and the car theft and not for the death of the officer. He said to the public, please be patient. There's an investigation ongoing and charges could come at a later date. Reporting live in Johnson County, Dennis Evans, KMBC 9 News. Clearly their work not done yet. Dennis, thanks. KMBC 9 News is getting answers on Catherine's criminal past. She's a registered sex offender in Tennessee, convicted on a long list of charges, including sexual exploitation of a minor and child abuse. It is still not clear what brought her to Kansas City.